The key shortcut utility is a really handy tool that enables you to define a new key shortcut or change the existing default shortcuts. You'll find it in the Utilities menu, Customize Key Shortcuts. There are many commands that could have shortcuts, so to make things easy we've categorised them into groups. Click on the drop-down menu here. Most groups mirror the menus such as File, Edit, etc. Or you can select All. If I choose File, for example, you'll see the commands in the File menu, such as Close and Save, with their default shortcuts, if they have one, showing here. To add a second shortcut to a command that already has one, select your command and click the Add Shortcut button. To delete an existing shortcut, select your command and click the Remove Shortcut button. Now let's choose something that doesn't currently have a shortcut. Optimize Photo and define a new one. Click on it here and type the key press you want to assign. I'm going to try Ctrl E for Enhance. You'll see it here in the key press field. You'll also see a warning here in the Clashes field because Ctrl E is already used for the color editor. You can't have the same shortcut for two actions, so I have to decide which to choose. I'm going to go with my new one. So I click on the old one, Color Editor, followed by the Remove Clash button. You'll see that the Clashes list is now empty. This is because there is now only one assignment for the key press, Control e and so there are no longer any Clashes. With no Clashes left, I could just click OK to save and start using my new definition. However, if, for example, I had wanted to change the shortcut associated with one of the clashes, rather than just removing the clash, I can edit one of the clashes right here from the clashes list. Say, for example, I wanted to assign Control plus I to Document Info. I select Document Info from the list here, then type my key press. And as I can see, this clashes with Export Image in Slices. I would like to reassign another shortcut to Export Image in Slices. So I click it, then the Edit Clash button. This command is now automatically selected in the Commands list. So all I have to do now is assign the new key press. I'm going to try Shift plus E. As I can see, there are no clashes, so I just click OK and save this. There are a couple of other options here. This one, Save, we save the current shortcut definition as an INI I -N -I, file without necessarily applying it. This means that you can save different sets of definitions and load them on another computer or share them with other users. The Load option allows you to load in these INI files. Note the Reset All button. Handle this with care as it resets all shortcuts back to the default positions. The Cancel button exits the shortcut utility without saving anything.